Uh, Greg is talking about presidential fashion. And he's looking yes. good himself. Look at you. I'd vote for you oh. anytime. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. It's not just the packaging. Right? Uh, but look, Barack Obama, he, he is a... Uh, there's something about the way he dresses that really has uh, kind of captured the imagination, at least of the fashion elite. At first, uh, you know, when you first take a look, uh, a lot of us can't tell. It looks standard, but uh, there really is something going on there. Take a look at this piece. Change has come to America. His eloquence soars, and if you look closely enough, so do his clothes. Magazine editors have noticed with glowing style profiles in Esquire, GQ, and Vogue. What's so special about his look? At first glance, maybe you can't tell. Guys, of course, we have it easy when it comes to business dress, a dark suit, tie, and we're pretty much done. Even for presidents, it starts to look like a uniform. But the discerning eye of a fashion professional can see much more. He carries clothes well. He's just, he looks comfortable in his clothes. We reviewed presidential dress code with Alan Flusser, one of America's top menswear designers and maker of custom clothing. He crafted the clothes for Oliver Stone's Wall Street and is the best-selling author of Dressing the Man. I think he's a very intelligent dresser. In other words, I think his choice of clothing and the way he puts it together is quite purposeful. If you notice the way he knots his tie and puts it into his collar, it's, the collar has a very specific shape. It's a large, long, pointed collar, um, perfect in terms of the, the scale of it relative to his face. And then the way he knots his tie with a dimple underneath and, 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 and pulled up underneath the V of the, of the collar. It's um, somebody who has uh, spent some time, um, you know, uh, learning how to do that properly. He has a body and a height really conducive to looking great in suits. Absolutely. I mean, the man is built like a regular model. I mean, he's 6'2 or 6'3. He's thin. You know, he, he moves elegantly. While not a state secret, the next president doesn't advertise who he wears. Although he has been spotted in Italian duds, Canali suits typically go for $1,200. Inauguration day for any incoming president is the height of formality. Ronald Reagan wore a morning coat and vest. The 44th president's inaugural dress is expected to be conservative, and for the celebrations at night, it might be his first tux since his wedding day. And that tuxedo, we're told, is going to be provided by uh, Hart, Schaffner & Marks, a company out of Chicago. It will run under $1,000, as a uh, gentleman said in the piece. Uh, he can make anything look good, really, Barack Obama. And our thanks to the uh, folks over there at Alan Flesser. President Obama is bringing a more laid-back style to the White House, but not everybody is a fan of the shirt sleeves. Andrew Card, the former chief of staff to George W. Bush, says President Obama needs to put on a jacket when he's in the Oval Office. When you have a dress code at the Supreme Court and a dress code on the floor of the Senate or the floor of the House, I think it's appropriate to have an expectation that there will be a dress code that respects the office of the president. Andrew Card sounds outraged. I mean, he seems all indignant well, about this. got to talk about something. I'm not sure why. We are asking one of the world's leading authorities on men's style to weigh in. Joining us now, Alan Flusser, stylist, tailor, uh, author. author. Always Hi. looking good. Thank so you. What do you think of Barack Obama's new look and, and Andrew, Car Andrew Card's criticism of it? Well, first of all, I think that President Obama is a very elegant man. And uh, I think uh, that uh, the American people uh, voted for someone who represents himself as a chief executive who rolls up his sleeves and gets to work. And if he's going to use the Oval Office to actually do that, then I think he's probably entitled, like most chief executives, to take his jacket off and actually do some work. So you think it's symbolic of, of what he needs to do? I, I do, as well as the fact that uh, more important, uh, rather than what he puts on, is uh, you know the kinds of the quality of his words and thoughts and deeds in the Oval Office, uh, as opposed to the cosmetics of what you wear. Alan, Alan Flusser, Flusser, you are correct, sir. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, what color would you say this is, Alan? Just I so would you know? say that's Donna Karen red, orangey red. <clears throat> orangey. Well, orangey yeah. red. Hey, he put, part you. orange, part okay. red. You see, the thing is, we had a dress code today. We're supposed to wear red. And because you, it's Go Red Day. It's Go Red Day because of the bringing awareness. health awareness yes. thing. And um, you, do, you did say orange before red. I did. <laughs> well, it's part it's orange, orange, part red. orange, red. Thank you, but, Alan. But it's, it gives a brighter. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Alan. <laughs> I, Thank you. I don't know why. My pleasure. Yeah, Always a leading stylist, a man in the know. And, uh, and Barack Obama is uh, 
perfectly appropriate He's okay. uh, without the jacket. I would say something, though, that uh, more concerning for me is what he has chosen to wear as an example with the interview with Matt Lauer, just a white dress shirt uh, open at the neck and uh, how he uh, put himself together for the He's a little late back here. This is this, yeah. But then again, it's Super Bowl Sunday. I mean, America, this, this interview, I believe, aired on Sunday. Most people were in T-shirts watching the game. Exactly. Right. So that's where, I mean, I think he's connecting with, with everybody that day. Nobody dresses up on Super Bowl Sunday, even if you're the president. Right. But I still think uh, that he needs to, if he's going to be casual, he needs to dress in a more kind of presidential casual, casual manner. Casual sweater. Or wear that emblem. Alan, Alan Flesser, Flesser. Thank, thank you so much. much. My pleasure. <laughs>